So we're gonna take this mushroom lady, oh my goodness, and make make it cute somehow, somehow, some way. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I run the blog called Mrs. Midwest and today we are doing something so exciting. We are going to the Nutcracker Ballet in the city um, with my aunt. It is her birthday tomorrow. She's my kids Gigi. She's someone who's very very special and I surprised her with tickets to the Nutcracker Ballet um, and I have dinner reservations at a nearby restaurant and it's gonna be so glamorous and so fun so I thought why not take the vlog along with me why not take the feminine family along with me um, so I'm gonna be getting ready for that don't worry I'm not going out like this <laughs> we are going to um, do some makeup we're gonna take this crazy look and turn it into something worthy of a performance hall <laughs> in the city and I'm gonna bring you along for um, my hair and getting dressed the whole nine yards. I'm very excited. So thank you for tuning in and bear with me. This will be a chatty get ready with me. Um, we will see where it takes us. So I do want to apologize for not posting um, any content since my feminine fashion video and that is because my family has been extremely sick i had all these like big plans of doing um like a zoom conference with some ladies who reached out to me and doing more videos in december and all this lovely stuff after thanksgiving um but then none of it ever came to fruition because my children got rsv um which is a very common illness that everybody gets in their lifetime um and you usually get it like really bad once when you're a child and it was about 15 days of sickness in my house my husband was taking off work for almost a full week we were drowning in puke i got to puke on the floor of my house or on me for every day for 15 days <laughs> it was horrible <laughs> and um troy he almost had to go to the emergency room because he wasn't having wet diapers just really bad it means like de dehydration when you're a baby he was like not really wanting fluids and all this stuff both of the boys ended up in urgent care which in the states is like it's not as serious as the emergency room um but it's kind of like where you go when you can't just like make an appointment with a doctor um you kind of need to be seen right then but it's not like you're bleeding out or having a heart attack so we went there um for Bodie and for Troy two separate times it was crazy, but we got through it, and now the boys are healthy. I posted on my Instagram kind of like asking for prayers, especially for our spirits, me and Grant, because we also ended up getting it. We got sick. <laughs> we were just like at home suffering, and it was, it was really hard, um, especially emotionally, like after a while, because usually with sickness, it is like viral sicknesses like that. It feels like it lasts a little while and then things get better and things improve and you all move on um but it just felt like never ending it was like from thanksgiving up until two days ago so all that being said i was going to film a postpartum video i was going to film a video about friendship and i was going to film a video about how i knew my husband was the one and an advice video and i had all these plans and then parenthood kind of came for my neck <laughs> and they ended up not posting so apologies for that that is our life situation right now I'm not going to tell too much more about that because I doubt you guys want to hear about toddler puke, but that was my life. So here we are getting a break from it all. My kids are healthy and I have these tickets to the Nutcracker Ballet, which is very exciting because I planned this before um, Thanksgiving. So I've had this to look forward to. It was like a light up to the end of the tunnel. So I'm very, very relieved. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who was keeping us in your thoughts and prayers. It really meant the world. For the first week, I kind of like didn't share online. I was like, eh, we'll get through this. I don't need to like make a whole fuss. And then 
a week after that, we were still dealing with it. And I was like, guys, like help, we need prayer. <laughs> so that is what we've been dealing with. And I'm very excited. So I love the ballet. Growing up, we would go to the ballet every single year. I lived about an hour and a half east of Toronto. So we would usually see a show around Christmas time. And I just haven't like been able to do a Christmas show in a long time. So this year I was like telling my husband, I was like, you know what? I really would love to go to the ballet. And we thought about, you know, it was my aunt's birthday and we thought it would be really nice to bless her with that. But also like I get to go to the ballet. So it's like really exciting. I danced ballet as a child, never point. I gave up before it got to that point. Um, but I love the ballet. So we're seeing the Nutcracker. I love, I think my, my favorite ballet is probably Sleeping Beauty, but the Nutcracker is so fun. It is so Christmassy. And like, I know this looks crazy, but I feel like all of the Christmas spirit I had was like sucked out of me when we were dealing with sicknesses. And I was listening to Christmas music before all of that. And I was like so excited. Oh, what am I doing? No. Okay. I meant to put the white stuff on. Let's see. Ugh. I'm gonna, okay, I'm so sorry. I look like Pinocchio. I'll be right back. I look like a puppet. I gotta get this eyebrow off. Okay, that's kind of like the tough part about doing your makeup while you're talking and looking at a phone, not a mirror. You kind of get like, I don't know, you do the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that looks terrible. Oh yeah, getting into the Christmas spirit now. So I think this is gonna be like, I'm coming back to the world. I'm coming back to the Christmas spirit. And I'm very excited. Um, but in full transparency, right before I started, like I've been, I've been planning on this vlog all week. I practiced this makeup look yesterday. I have been deleting storage on my phone for it. Like I've been so excited to share this with you guys. Um, but this morning I got not great news from family and I like don't talk about my family much online for personal reasons um but i have shared in some of my advice videos like my thought on my thoughts on like estrangement and some of that um kind of things and i know that's like spoken to a lot of you so that being said i know that some of you can relate but when you're dealing with something like that when you hear from family for like the first time in years or like whatever or things go on with the health of family members it can leave you like like I'm shaking still. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> kind of like worked up, anxious, a little bit stressed, but I'm grateful that I have this ballet event with my aunt to look forward to. I'll get to talk to her tonight, which will also be really nice. But if I seem a little wired, that's why. Um, not great news. Moving forward, I talk a lot of, on my channel about, you know, being strong amidst trials and like growing and all this stuff. So I guess you guys get to see in this vlog how Mrs. Midwest handles troublesome things that cause her anxiety. <laughs> it's tough. It's a hard part of life that many of us silently deal with. Um, but if you're experiencing any emotional stress, family related or not, maybe it's loss related, maybe your life is very different than what you thought it would be over the holidays or you miss people over the holidays, just know you are not alone. Um, a lot of us can relate to that. A lot of us um, come from tough situations or we've experienced loss or whatever. You're not alone. I'm sending you my love. And we are going to have a nice evening at the ballet together. Getting cute. Going out with my aunt. And remembering that life can have joyful moments even when things spring up out of nowhere. Trying to distract you, offloading stress and anxiety. We can still rejoice, have fun, and not let it derail our day. So all that being said, I know I look crazy right now, but I am brushing up my eyebrows with some wonderful product that I actually got from a wonderful subscriber named Erica. <laughs> she sends me these amazing beauty things every once in a while, and I really liked that um, product. I do it to brush up my eyebrows. 
Um, this is a crazy look, but it is what it is. We are going to make this bedraggled mother into a beautiful butterfly. And it's a process because I'm a low contrast human being. My eyebrows naturally are very light. My eyes are light. My lips are light. Everything is light. So I am like pff, a blank piece of paper, very low contrast. So the goal of makeup for me is to add contrast and that's what we're doing. So also, yeah, I have my dining room chair in here. I have my crazy postpartum wings, like, spiking out the side trying to say hello to all of you so we're gonna take this mushroom lady oh my goodness and make make it cute somehow somehow some way um, and then I have a heatless curl situation going on up here I don't think it's gonna be very curly because I just did it a few hours ago usually I shared this on my Instagram on how to do it um, usually I have to wear this overnight for it to really last but I think it'll at least give some texture I don't usually love heatless curls but the reason I've had to start doing them is because my hair is so long. It takes forever to do a curling one and then it just falls out. And so if I want any texture in my hair, I have to do a overnight heatless curls situation so that um, it lasts longer. Like what a wonderful problem to have. Like I, me from seven years ago would only dream of having hair so long I couldn't use a curling iron effectively. So what I think I'm gonna do is have to take these mushroom wings, that's what I've been calling them, like wow. Thank you, Mr. Troy, for coming to the world and giving mama this regrowth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're going to wind that down and tuck it and hide it underneath my hair. So no one at the ballet will know about it, but all of you, all of you thousands of people who watch this will know about it. So um, that's kind of the base layer. You saw I did my nose contour. That's kind of a hack I've seen going around lately um, on Instagram reels. I am so old <laughs> but it's uh just like defining your nose a little bit Ooh, that's a lot and it makes you kind of have like a button nose look i mean why not we're going out on the town why not have a button nose right ladies very cute okay just bear with the process <laughs> okay cool um hubby and i though we were able to go out for a date last night and he's gonna be watching the kids tonight so I can go to the Nutcracker um, so I've just had a very spoiled weekend which is very exciting and wonderful for me Wow terrible <sighs> So now that I have like more full bangs, I like to do a very strong eyebrow so you can see it pop through the bangs. So when my bangs are down, you can like really see it because it's like so strong. Um, and I decided to go with a bit longer of a tail uh, inspired by Jackie Wires. She always does like a really long brow and I think it it's very youthful um, I saw this like side-by-side -side photo comparison where it was like celebrities with um, their natural or with their made-up brows like thick and then them with like really thin brows and it they always looked a lot older with the thin brows and it really struck me yeah like sometimes that really thick brow is kind of like a youth signal the way a full lip can be so hot tip fill in your brows if you want to look young <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna do a bit of an eye. I don't wanna do anything crazy because I feel like I always mess it up. I'm gonna go crazy on the eyes. We're just using a Milani palette. Under here. I also feel like I have like, kind of like a doll-like shape to my eyes where they're just like, big circles so lately I've been kind of like playing that up a little more um and I kind of like that outcome my mom kind of taught me when I was younger you do dark on the lash line and then you can swoop it up into your crease and just blend a lot for a really quick lazy smoky eye um, I think it looks pretty good. Okay. 
And now we're going to curl my lashes. Sorry that I keep popping out. <laughs> You're on the windowsill. You can see I have some texture here. I, if, if, an, if I get acne, it's usually around my mouth. Um, during pregnancy, I like never broke out, which was like a wonderful blessing, but my skin ended up actually being really dry. So there wasn't as much oil causing acne, but then my skin got so dry, I got pretty deep forehead wrinkles for both pregnancies. And I kind of felt like, oh, okay, I guess I'm, I'm aging and this just is what it is. But interestingly enough, now that my pregnancies are over, um, those wrinkles have really, really reduced. So that's a wonderful. And then I also kind of stepped up my nighttime moisturizer by putting a layer of Aquaphor on over top of my skincare routine, really slathering it on. I think it's called slugging or sna snailing slugging. I think it's called slugging, which sounds gross, but it's like putting a layer of slimy, like Aquaphor Vaseline over your um, skincare to lock it in. Cause sometimes people think Vaseline is uh, moisturizing and it's not, but it, it, it locks in whatever moisture is already in there. So I do that with Aquaphor and I've never had better skin that and a chemical exfoliant. So that's my other hot tip. That's what I've been doing differently with my skin. So I actually feel like I look skin wise younger now than I did when I was pregnant, especially with Troy. I remember I posted a motherhood video and someone commented, they were like, whoa, pregnancy really ages you. And I was like, road, <laughs> but also you're not wrong. <laughs> These babies suck a lot of juice out of your, your pores. Oh my goodness. So it was kind of a relief to have my skin um, recover after Troy. We are almost exactly one year, sorry. We're almost exactly one year postpartum from Troyo the Boyo. He was born the day after Christmas. And uh, that's why I'm gonna film a postpartum video sharing about my journey with everything hair skin body nails um and how i feel like i've gotten back to myself feel confident and i'll share like how that happened what i've been doing how i like um dislike things how things have changed i'm not the same woman i was um when i was before kids. I had I had children back to back. If you guys didn't know that, check out my birth vlog. I uh, not vlog, birth video. I, sh I uh, actually filmed that video at this window too. But uh, yeah, I'm not the same woman, but I actually feel very healthy. I feel very happy. And I think that video will be very enlightening and interesting, especially for people who maybe are like nervous about giving birth. I know a lot of people get kind of concerned, like what's gonna happen to my body? Um, what's gonna happen? Like, am I gonna feel fresh and beautiful ever again or is it like you have kids and then it's like game over <laughs> so i'm going to talk about all of that in like a dedicated video but spoiler alert it's not game over you can still be young fresh and beautiful through children oh my this is dark <laughs> i think um part of the reason i'm so excited for the ballet is it is it is a incredibly elegant um, beautiful art and it is like an incredibly taxing sport and I, I love going to the ballet because every time I go I just feel so inspired after like gotta work on my flexibility and my balance and it's so inspiring to see what the human body is capable of I'll say this before I've said this before and I'll say it again ladies if you're not using a lip liner, you gotta. I read this amazing um, like blog post a long time ago where this gentleman was talking about like how as a child he would see his mom do her lip routine. Like it was in the 50s or something. Like she would go to the, like take out her compact mirror. She would do her lip liner and then her lipstick and she would dab the lipstick and it was this whole like production and how it just reminded him of like, just like the effort it takes like with beauty and also just how um, 
disciplined and wonderful his mother was and I, I just love that imagery of like a woman putting in that time and extra effort on, on something as small as lipstick you know like taking out your compact and like making it a special little moment um, and I really feel like a lot of women especially if you have a lighter complexion like me a low contrast palette like I explained earlier a lip liner can really just elevate everything because it defines the outer um, ridges of your lips for us light ladies if you see my if you hear my son crying it is almost his nap time <laughs> You know all those magazines where it's like asking a celebrity, if you could have one makeup product in your makeup bag, what would it be? And they're always like, blush, or like something like that. Mine is mascara. <laughs> I come to life with mascara because I just need that contrast. And the thing is, my eyes are this big, naturally. But when I don't have mascara on, they just blend into the rest of my face. And it's such a game changer. Like my whole life, almost my whole life I've always used this mascara or um, another kind of like cheap one and it's it just makes or breaks like my look I swear I think it's so lovely um, like when I'm an old lady I'm going to want someone to be applying mascara on my old wrinkly lashes <laughs> I actually did that for my grandma when she was in her later years one time I went over to her place and I did like a full glam makeup because she was a very glamorous woman like she was a model she like um always had a full face even through cancer like till the end and when she was like really old like she had kind of like been losing her memory I went over there and I did her makeup and blush and mascara and like I'll never forget like my poppy's like the look on his face he was so like almost like brought back in time um, like remembering his wife like for that glamorous woman that she was and how beautiful she was um and I just think that's why I love like to me and in my life makeup has always been such a positive thing it was never like go put on makeup you look ugly or you look sick it was just like an exciting fun like um artistic thing I come from a very artistic family and it was always a way to have fun and and like enhance um like the beauty God had like given you I just I think it's so fun um, but it does take practice and I understand it can be very daunting for people I I am still learning I'm still getting better at makeup like this brow is better than what you'll see in a vlog two or three years ago um, I'm always improving makeup trends are changing so that's my little speech if you want to know how to get better at makeup watch normal women do it in vlogs like this like i i never have watched like those makeup artist videos maybe occasionally like i love the videos where it's aimed at older postpartum no post-menopause women because i feel like they have a lot of wonderful tricks and tips tips about looking fresh but usually I'll watch like these vlogs that have chatty get ready with me's um way way back in the day like I would watch like an Alana Pearls or a Valeria Lipovetsky and I would just learn so much from these normal everyday women um doing their makeup and it, it was really like honestly very cool like I learned I'm not sure who I learned this from maybe it was Valeria that if you can shorten the distance between your nose and your upper lip you look younger because your philtrum this place lengthens as you get older so if you can shorten that by adding like an upper lip like the barbie brats doll lip it actually makes you look younger if you want to look um more like shapely with your cheekbones don't apply um things on top of them apply them like underneath so you can see how that kind of defines it and then yeah for the eyes i don't know if i i have good advice with eyeshadow other than what my mama taught me which is uh do from like about here over darken that crease same on this side and always lift up and then jackie wires i learned from her vlogs i guess she's kind of a makeup artist person um but lengthen and then okay also shout out for jackie wires the thing i love about her she does these incredible looks where she makes herself look like margot robbie or <laughs> like Kira knightley bella swan just with drugstore makeup and that is where i learned yes quality is important especially if you're someone like me with freckled skin you need a good foundation but you don't need expensive products in order to create a beautiful makeup look. You actually just need the skills and it takes practice, but also knowledge. 
so watching like these everyday girls or maybe like someone like a Jackie Wires, you can you can just learn so much. Jackie is also the one who kind of inspired me to like contour my nose a little bit to get more of that like button shape, um, which is really cute. Like I don't have a small nose and that's not my goal. I just have like this little ball at the end that I like to kind of like bring out. It's like something about me, very cute. So anyways, the hair, this is very ballerina bun looking. <laughs> if you want to know how to do this, um, maybe I will insert a clip, but if you can find it on my Instagram, it is basically winding your hair like this around a scrunchie. It, it's not complicated. Um, I can try to leave a, I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link below to the highlight and to anybody who does this. This is a Lily Silk scrunchie. Do not try heatless curls with anything other than a pure silk scrunchie because I swear it just will wreck your hair. Silk is like the least friction kind of item. See, look at that, very cool, right? Silk is the, has the least friction of any fabric and you, if you want to prevent breakage, you need to prevent <laughs> friction. Um, so that's why I did this. And also I did this, I, I washed my hair this morning and then I did this and it's only been in for a few hours. So it's only gonna give me um, a little bit of texture, not a lot of curls, but that's okay. Wow, very, very nice actually more of a wave um again if you want to know how to do, do this i will figure out how to share with you all um it's on my instagram though it's on my highlight called hair look how nice that is that was from a bun and again i had to start doing this because my hair it just it's too long for a curling iron i can do it it just takes forever i'm a mom it's not it's not gonna happen so either my hair is like pin straight <laughs> Cause now it's so healthy there's no texture when i used to have curly hair it was because my hair was so dead and broken you could coil it around something and it would like be straw and it would last like that forever um but now that it's healthy and long it's just like dead straight so i figured out this bun because also have you guys ever seen those like things going around where it's like a tube or like a bathrobe or leggings and you wrap your hair around and you sleep on it it's so nice but it's like how do I sleep on my side like that or even when I'm on my back I turn my head like this it's just not comfortable so that's kind of why I figured out something that works for me and that is the bun <laughs> um it works for my length of hair and for the way I sleep because I sleep with my hair, no, I sleep on my side or I sleep that. So having a bun is great. Again, Lily Silk, I still have that code from my previous video. Um, and then it, this is great because you can see this is gonna hide the mushroom we were talking about earlier. I'll insert this clip to show earlier you, you guys earlier in the video that it did not stay scary. So anyways, very cute. I like having bangs. Um, for winter uh, I just think it's like kind of fun also bangs are kind of trendy right now and I my hair grows so fast like I, I've had to cut off so many inches of this in the last uh, four months at home just like inch 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 like cut off because it's like getting stuck in my pants I kid you not um, and I wanted to kind of add a little bit more tips as far as hair growth because I was I've been really thinking about it and I think some a, another genuine change and, and this is not just because I had a sponsorship with them I started sleeping on a lily silk pillowcase like after coming home from the hospital with Troy and I was looking back and my hair was long but it was like to here um, after pregnancy with Troy and then this year has been astronomical with hair growth and i really think it's because i've slept consistently on a silk pillowcase it's so good for my skin my skin's better too i said that earlier but my skin is better my hair is better i do not get as much breakage so if you are trying to grow out your hair consider um a real silk pillowcase maybe a little fresh new year's gift to yourself use my code um i think it's still valid maybe not but it's in my other video it's midwest 12 for lily silk but i think i owe, i think i do owe this hair to the lily silk pillowcase so and then yeah the lily silk scrunchies also amazing i guess you guys know where my loyalties lie <laughs> so anyways this is the makeup and hair maybe i'll add an earring or something the goal tonight is going to be i'm gonna hairspray all of this um and the goal tonight is going to be getting my aunt to tell me whenever my postpartum flyaways start creeping out <laughs> from underneath my hair um i have an outfit i kind of picked out i'm gonna wear black i know it's kind of boring but it's like the only formal outfit i have so i'll show you that outfit thank you for tuning in to this makeup look 
Um, I could add a false lash, but honestly, I cannot be bothered <laughs> right now. I just, I'm going out with my aunt. She doesn't care. Yeah. Sing it for your whole life. So let me be a family this Christmas. Let this be the season that you've been waiting for. Let no, me no, be no. a family <laughs> this Christmas. <laughs> Give to you myself this year. Like this, this year you've left me wondering. about is realized Me walking barefoot in the San Diego snow I wanna make you I wanna make you I wanna make you feel something familiar I celebrate you God did his thing with you Don't be a stranger Be my dad this ain't a holiday So let me be your family this Christmas Let me be your family Let this be the season that you've been waiting for Let me be your family this Christmas Let me be your family this Christmas Give to you my okay. self to serve I'm break into it, it's so pretty It's so pretty yeah. I love sharing it. I mean, if you're go if you're out, you you're already here. Why not? 
Well, and we got this, and I was like, I'm not completely satisfied. Really. <laughs> Because we did one. There's no way I'm going to wear cute little high heels. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's gonna be snowing like a freaking fancy. <laughs> yeah, we have to go down the street. Oh, poor man. It's snowflakes all over the There we go, that's nice. We made it. Yeah, it was not in the <laughs> <laughs> Hello friends, we are back. It is late. It was a treacherous drive home. We were going 45 Just over snow, but it was worth it because that ballet was beautiful I was a little skeptical because I grew up going to like the Toronto ballet kind of more high-end ballets I was like, how good will this Midwestern ballet be? It was lovely. It was worth every penny and the dinner was incredible I cannot wait to go back there with hubby like we stayed there for like hours and hours just talking, enjoying, um, celebrating my aunt, my kids, Gigi, her birthday. It was so special, so wonderful, and like a little bit of bad weather that doesn't keep us down. So I had a lovely time. I'm so glad I was able to take you guys along for this kind of short, quick little Christmas vlog. I want to get this out um, before Christmas so we have some Christmas cheer <laughs> because I always do a Christmas vlog. Um, and things are a little bit different on the channel right now just as my kids are so little. I just want to say um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate, happy new year. Um, I am just so grateful for your support this year, especially as I've been navigating so many changes. I really, um, it means so much. I really, really deeply appreciate all of you. I hope you have a wonderful holidays time, no matter um, if you're like me and you have you know, some tough stuff that you're working through, but you also have beautiful things like your family. Um, I just really hope you can savor the moment and find little bits of joy um, and just continue to fight the good fight, my dear, beautiful sisters. I'm gonna end it now. It feels weird. It feels weird to do such a short vlog, um, but that's all I have for you. So I need to go to sleep. We have church tomorrow. So thank you again for watching. If you like this content, I have a few other Christmas vlogs and vlogs in general. If you are able, please leave a like on the video. It does help other feminine sisters find our channel, community, 
what have you. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, check me out over on Instagram if you want more uh, frequent content. But in general, I hope you have a wonderful, blessed, and